Hey, Viola Rolls here, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. So we're still cross-examining Trillo, and now he's talking about the missing Max, and we know that Money the Monkey distracted him for about five minutes, according to them, but I don't know how true that is. But anyway, let's go ahead and press all the statements. So, you were only concerned with waiting for Regina that night? That means you probably wouldn't have noticed if anyone else showed up. You should think about how many eyes I actually have. I've got four, you know. Four. F-O-U-R. Counting Ben, of course. That many eyes, do you think something would have slipped by me? Four eyes is an awful lot of attention directed at one area, I suppose. Yikes, the judge is even more dangerous to our case than Trillo. <laughs> I know. But that doesn't change the fact that you saw Maxima Plaza that night. So you saw Max coming out of the big top that night. Of course that's where I saw him coming from. I was staring at the entrance to the tent the entire time. I guess that makes sense, especially if he was waiting for Regina. Showed up after I've been waiting there for about five minutes. About what time would you say these events took place? You're one of the dumbest people on the planet if you can't figure it out for yourself. You already know that practice finished promptly at 10. And you already know that I went to the lodging house right after practice. You don't need to be a brain surgeon to know around what time it was when I saw him. Just add 10 more minutes. I'm sure you could do that. Now, what time was it? Indeed. What time was it? Hmm. What time was it? Let me think about that for a second. Yeah, I'm no good at math. <sighs> it was 10, 10 p.m. Ah, yes, that sounds about right. It sounds about right, because that's the time I saw Max on the scene. I said good evening to him, even though he didn't acknowledge. So you testified that you said good evening to Max that night. You must be... You must enjoy asking incredibly obvious questions. You say good morning in the morning and good afternoon during the day, right? And it's obvious that I'd say good night to someone at night. What, Ben? You've got something to add? Let me guess. That's not it, Trillo. You say good evening at night. Oh, I'm sorry, Trillo. Mr. Quist, I would prefer if you kept your ventriloquist act outside of the courtroom. Impossible. Performer lives and breathes his performances. You should know better. There's got to be something wrong with this bit of testimony. Actually, nothing. Trillo's evening greeting. Ben's half of the comedy act. Hmm. Isn't that a bit strange to you? So I selected uh, Trello's evening greeting. What do you mean? Well, if you hate Max so much, why would you bother being nice to him? Good point, I didn't even think about that. It strikes me as somewhat strange. Why would it strike you as strange? Exactly. How is it strange to be cordial to one of your co-workers? Because they don't like each other, Von Karma. Well, it was simply just being cordial to a co-worker I would understand. Ow, that hurts. Maybe you should think of having some proof before, you, before your lips start flapping next time. Proof is everything in this world. You should have learned that back in grade school. There's no reason that Trilla would ever say something nice to Max. But how do I go about proving that with the evidence? Bluffing is everything in this world, but I'm sure you already learned that one. I guess I can give it a shot. The witness will resume his testimony. Hmm. Okay, I'm absolutely sure it was him I saw Max Galactica at the scene. You are 100% absolutely sure of what you just said? <clears throat> I told you already, geez, I am 100% absolutely sure. There's no way that he could be any more confident than that, right? There's no way I could mistake someone wearing those three ri ridiculous symbols. Hmm. Those three ridiculous symbols, huh? Out of curiosity, exactly how many times have you asked that question by now? If we're gonna ask again, I'll answer with the chorus. Everyone together now. Silk hat, cloak, white roses. Thank you very much. Maya, you didn't have to join in, did you? But it's fun shouting out with everyone else. 
There has to be a hole in his testimony somewhere. I agree, but we do have the proof to make something stick. All we can do is try, right, Nick? We gotta have something that will prove useful. Alright, time to go to work. Okay, so which of these statements do I need to present something to? The issue here is why would you be nice to Max, right? Because they had a huge fight. Is this what I'm supposed to present to this? Only thing that makes sense to me. Oh, I noticed he changed it to good evening. I didn't even notice that. Trillo, is it not true that you had a fight with Max on the day of the murder? A fight? A fight over Regina, to be exact. That wasn't- it wasn't that big of a deal. It was just an argument. A disagreement at most. A disagreement usually doesn't end with someone getting clonked over the head. <laughs> that morning, Ben got clobbered over the head by Max, didn't he? What? Is that an admission of assault and battery? Yeah! Before we handle that, we should wrap up the defendant's murder charge first. The truth is that on the day of the crime, the defendant and witness had a huge fight. There's absolutely no way they would have suddenly become cordial that evening. Moreover, just consider the personality of the witness on the stand. There's no way a puppet this lewd would just up and say good evening to his rival. Exactly. Are you saying this witness is lying? That he's trying to frame the defendant by claiming to have seen him at the crime scene? I- 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 I didn't tell a single lie. Honestly, I just... That's enough from you, Mr. Quist. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? Let's clarify this testimony for the court. Could you explain your theory about who the witness actually saw that night? He didn't see anyone. He saw the defendant. He saw a different person. Um... Hmm. I'm gonna say he saw a different person. Somebody disguised as Max. It is my belief that the witness did indeed see someone that night. It was just someone else, and that's who he said good evening to. Oh, he saw he saw Regina said good evening to her and she ghosted him. <laughs> what kind of theory is that? The correct one. Furthermore, I don't believe the person the witness saw was Max at all. What? If he had truly met Max that night, there would have been no greeting at all. Which means there is only one proper answer. The person the witness saw that night was not Maximilian Galactica. That's why Trillo made the effort to greet whoever it was he saw that evening. Or good evening, as he put it. Uh... What in the world? You! Would the defense kindly explain who it was Trillo saw that evening? You saw... I'm gonna... It's Regina, right? Or... Wait. No, because he was waiting for Regina and never saw her. That's the issue, right? Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Duh, he saw the victim. Of course he would say good evening to the boss. Considering the ill temper of the witness, there is only one person he would greet. It must be Regina. It's Regina, right? She's so cute. Judge, please, no. No, your honor, is not Regina. If it was Regina, Trilla would have given her the engagement ring as a present. Oh, yeah, I suppose you've got a point there. It was Russell Berry, the victim himself, was it not? You are correct. It was indeed Russell Berry. The person you saw that evening was the victim, the ringmaster Russell Berry. That's why you greeted him, Trillo. Isn't that correct? Yep. Answer the question, Mr. Quist. Mr. Quist. Order! Order! How do you respond to this? Wait a second. Well, at first I thought it was the old man. But, but, once I got a better look at him, it was obviously Maximilian Galactica. Hmm? What? I think it is high time that we cleared the air about this question. Mr. Quest obviously witnessed a single person in the area of the plaza that evening. The problem is identifying exactly who that person was. Was it Maximilian Galactica? Or was it the ringmaster, one Mr. Russell Berry? 
The prosecution argues that it was the defendant that the witness saw that night. The witness has clearly stated that he saw the defendant's three symbols. Three symbols. Alright, this is getting old. Come on, man. You gotta remember them by now. Here we go again. Everyone, all together now. <laughs> she actually whipped Trilla that time. Yes, yes, we know. The silk hat, cloak, and white roses. A silk hat and a cloak. Anyone could wear them. They'd even look good on me. I don't know about that, Phoenix. What was that? Well, the witness has endlessly repeated that he saw Max's three symbols. However, how do we really know it was Maximilian Galactica? It could have been someone else dressed as him. Because we have to pull parallels from the first game. This is the parallel with the Steel Samurai case. Possibly even Russell Barry. What? Exactly. Miss Von Karma. Do you have clear evidence that the person the witness saw was the defendant? Well, I... No, she doesn't. If that's the case, then it is impossible for me to make a judgment at this point. Yes, I think we finally won a point in this one. That is very unfortunate. Huh? You're just a little too excited for your own good, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What do you mean by that? You merely established one thing from this witness. You established that this witness saw one person in the plaza that night. I applaud you on your effort, but... But? Who that person was can only be answered by the next witness. Huh? You're talking about Mo? Your Honor, the prosecution will provide, beyond a shadow of a doubt, an answer to that question and evidence that clearly establishes one thing. That there is no one other than Maximilian Galactica responsible for this crime. Very well. The court will take a ten minute recess. During that time, I request the prosecution prepare their next witness. Court is now in recess. Okay, made it through phase one of the court trial. Oh, that one that one was a doozy and there's no telling what Moe's going to say and we have to get through all his quote unquote jokes as well. But anyway, we'll do that in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this one, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe and I'll talk to you all next time.